Well, the voting boom in Michigan. I mean, here's the thing. The Great Lakes state has always had a robust boating industry, right? But this pandemic has shifted that into a full throttle with more people wanting to get out on the water. But buying a boat isn't as easy as it used to be, as I found out when I went looking in today's Don't Waste Your Money report. When it comes to recreational boating, more and more people are climbing aboard, but you better batten down the hatches if you're looking to buy a boat. I asked on social media to gauge interest. Darren Markwood tweeted, just had a friend trying to buy a boat locally, found it as hard as the housing market to find something. Gunner One tweeted, I sold my 24 foot fishing boat and had lots of folks that wanted it. Sold the first day with others offering more, but the deal was done. Now I'm looking for a good deal on a small smaller boat, but he may be waiting a while. At Wilson Marine in Commerce Township, the sign out front warns, buy now before they are gone. Normally, how many boats do you have on the floor? So typically we house in this location 25 to 30 new boats indoors. We currently have eight boats indoors right now. Sales manager Justine Nolan says of those eight boats, five of them are used boats, which are normally sitting outside. You just don't have enough new boats. No, I mean, as you can see from my half empty showroom. Wilson Marine, which has five locations in Southeast Michigan, touts itself as Michigan's largest pontoon dealer. Right now, only one new pontoon boats for sale at this site. Their website's homepage slide even promotes cash for boats. And this showroom sign, get top dollar for your trade now. That's helping us fulfill our, you know, inventory shortages as buying people's used boats. Nolan says because of shipping delays, many customers buying a new boat are having to wait three to six months to get it. That if it's something very intricate and high end, it could take even longer than that time frame. And she says prices have risen by roughly 10%. This 19 foot Starcraft Fishmaster sold for $63,000 last year. This year, the ticket price is 68,000. But it's not just customers having a tough time. St. Clair Yacht Sales at Detroit's Keen Marina had to close its office last summer. There's just a lack of in good used inventory in Michigan right now. So uh, we were forced to, to let that store go after 33 years being there. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. A difficult turn for owner Jay Cooper, who's still in business in Port Huron with Jay's Marine Hardware and his remaining St. Clair Yacht Sales brokerage. He still can't believe what happened after COVID hit. Normally we would keep anywhere uh, between 80 to 100 boats in inventory and all of it sold. And this summer, used boats are selling as soon as he gets them in. But now he's diversifying. You're actually now getting into the rental business. We saw a need for it. We get people calling like crazy. They, they can't own a boat, so they want a ram boat. They want to be on water. Hey, if you have a friend with a boat, good for you. Jay Cooper, by the way, is hoping to get his rental website up and running within the next couple of weeks. We'll have a link for you on our story online. Now, here are some takeaways. If you want to buy a boat, consider buying a used boat, which would save you money and eliminate having to wait for a new one to come in. Or if you don't mind what color or particular features are on it, sit down with a retailer to see if there are any pre-ordered boats that haven't been snatched up yet. The wait time may not be as long, which could mean that you'd get it before the summer's over. For those who have that three to six month wait, yeah, I mean, the best part of the boating season will be done. Uh, that's true. Uh, here's my plan. Find a friend with a boat. Yes. <laughs> that way you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to give them a call. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Or as the kids do now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that, that's right, uh, the flat phones.